pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to films I should have talked about years ago. So you know what? Let's go on ahead and dive on into a little bit of the world of Tyler Perry. If you're not very familiar with Tyler Perry, then well, there's a lot of other things you could probably do, but because BLM, I'm going to be talking a bit about the latest in the Medea series, which had been running for nearly 15 years. Up until that point, because a Medea family funeral released in March 2019 was supposedly the last film we'd ever see in Tyler Perry's Medea films. After that, who even knows what could potentially happen. But hey, you know what? The series had pretty much gone absolutely well. And Tyler Perry really is probably at some of the heights of stardom by now. With all the Medea films that have been released, including Medea Goes to Jail, Medea's Family Reunion, and many other things that have been released over the past 15 years, especially between 2005 and 2019, Medea Family Funeral may have a bit of a different outlook on the whole series and a bit of a way as to try and end the series properly, but yet, it's a bit more vague. For being the last film in the series, I can't ultimately put my finger on it if it's supposed to be any better than all the others. But hey, you know what? Casting's pretty much there. You really gotta like what many of the characters in this film, in contrast to many of the others, have to do with the plot line surrounding this final entry in the Medea film series. It basically takes place, of course, many years after most of these other things have taken place, but the thing is, Medea Family Funeral is just what you think it is. It's a funeral where death in the family had taken place. And there are a lot of pretty insane ways that the whole entire affair has taken place. From the moment that the death is announced in the family to the point where a lot of things come together and the character AJ apparently is cheating. The way I see it though, the very ending of this film, where it talks a lot about cheating and what the whole concept of marriage itself is about, that's really quite a big thing to say right there. The moment AJ gets caught, to the moment they discuss all these things, to the moment where it apparently turns out that the same phone that was owned by, well, the now deceased relative, is apparently now being owned by a different person in the family. But you really gotta look at a lot of things here though. From the runtime that it has, to the incredible sort of black comedy that takes place. And not to mention the kinds of different writings and screenplays that were put together. It wasn't really as constrained as most people thought it was. But yet for a 2019 film, that came out way before the majority of other big time 2019 blockbusters, it really goes to show that Lionsgate has had a lot of things to work on. But also, it's an appropriate farewell, the way I see it. A family, a family funeral happens to really capitalize on what a proper ending could potentially be. And there are so many ways that you might look at it. But yet, who even knows what could happen? Tyler Perry doesn't really have a whole lot left to prove, but you never know what could potentially happen otherwise. Because I was able to give this film another watch, I will say I can't really be sure about it. But the thing is, this was yet another one of those that I was able to catch a glimpse of during my time working with the Marcus Theaters Corporation because this film was released just a couple weeks after I started working with them, so the thing is, I was able to catch a glimpse of it at least, at least during the very final act, where the party pretty much takes place, the celebration of life has ended, and all the family members are gathered together in the house to basically discuss various things here and there. And then you really gotta take a look at the credits though. The way that the credits actually utilize a lot of different bloopers and the like that have been taken from the film. It's just incredible. I tell you, I could pretty much go all day talking about a lot of these kinds of details and all that that I was able to spot during the second viewing, but why would I want to do that? 
The thing is though, it's just over. All over. So when it comes to giving this a score, I'm probably going to be a bit more lighthearted because simply put, the Medea film series, it may have gone off on a pretty long tangent between 2005 and 2019, but yet there's always a likelihood that there could be something different. Something that might just revive the series or even reboot it. For that, I'm giving it a total of 7.2 out of 10. Not necessarily going to go as far to calling it something great, something fantastic, something sweet, but still. It does seem to be a rather appropriate farewell, and it happens to send off on quite a big note by any means. A surprise that we never quite saw coming. Something that's probably not too justifying, but yet it seems to do the job just right. Well, you know what? That's going to be it for today. But if you want to see more, go down to my channel, then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.